Scott Schiller domination today, 197 pounds. First off, aloha. How you doing? <laughs> you don't give me an aloha. I got you onto it. Okay. Uh, you know, you look at the, the experience here in Hawaii, and, and you compete hard, man. Everywhere you go, I think we could take you to Antarctica, you compete hard. But, uh, you know, looking at the day today, you know, what did you really get out of the day today? Um, you know, I got to wrestling four matches in a day is pretty tough. You know, we don't really do that whether it's Big Ten or Nationals. Maybe maybe in a wrestleback situation at Nationals, you might get four matches in a day, but being able to wrestle that many times in such a short amount of time is really important to learn, and, and it just takes a lot of toughness to wrestle those many matches back to back, and it's hot out. You know, I think I, pre I lost a lot of weight today, you know, just sweating my sweating so much, and, and uh, you know, just being able to wrestle four matches like that is important. 197 is a bananas weight class, man. That uh, win in the exhibition with uh, you know, Jaden Cox, he gassed out, and you just yeah. you put put the the Minnesota grind yeah. on him, man. Like I like to say, but uh, you know, you look at that weight. You got Kyle Snyder's a freshman. Obviously, you and Kyvan Gatson go back and forth. Mark and McIntosh, all these guys, just a great weight class. Fifty yeah. sevens like that, seventy fours like that, twenty fives like that, just phenomenal weight. What do you got to do to be, you know, win this rivalry with you and Gatson? If yeah. you know you're going to be probably separated from them at the NCAA tournament, but what do you got to do to? to be the top guy, maybe win that rivalry match with yeah. them. What do you got to do? Um, you know, I just got to keep building towards Nationals. I learned a lot last year. Um, I started the season off great. I was 24-0, and, and I dropped a few matches after that. And just learning about, you know, the peaking process and making sure I'm doing that when I need to. So just, you know, increasing my intensity every tournament and every weekend and just uh, focusing on my goals, uh, you know, come March of where I want to be and, and just focusing on the small details while everything's going on, you know, just – you know, focusing on the very small things day in, day out, that's going to get me to where I need to be come March. What's that rivalry like for, for you with, with Gadsden, man? It's you fun, you yeah. guys have gone back and forth a yeah. lot. Yeah, I think we've wrestled seven times in the last few years. So, you know, there's a, there's a lot of history between him and I, and it's a lot of fun. You know, he's a great competitor. He's a great athlete. And, uh, you know, I love every time I get the opportunity to wrestle him. By now, it's like, let's just do it again. You know, there's no, there's no more nerves or anything like that anymore. It's like, you and me, buddy round eight coming up he got the best of you in vegas what'd you take from that as far as building you talk about building week yep. to week what would you take out of that match? um you know i just learned a lot of the small positions that i need to get better in and you know my intensity early in the season like that it's nowhere near where it's going to be come march so uh you know I, I take the win or loss wherever the match outcome might be with a grain of salt at this time of the year especially so i'm um, just learning about the positions that i need to get better in and then you know when i go back to the wrestling room focusing on those so you know, like I said earlier, my focus is on March. I, you know, we're so heavy mm -hmm. focus on March. The media, all wrestling coaches, yep. fans, you. You know, we, we look at that, but something like this, Aloha Open, yep. Hawaii. What's this like for you? You know, last year you were wrestling at the Southern Scuffle. Yeah. You now, what what is this like as far as change of pace and for your body and your mm -hmm. training, your mind? How has this been for you? Uh, it's fun. You know, I've never seen the Pacific Ocean before. I'm from West Fargo, North Dakota, so. I don't get to the beach very much, so it's sweet being here. I've um, never been to a place like this before. So it was great to be able to come here. You know, I was kind of focused on business um, up to this point, but now that we're done, you know, I'm going to enjoy my new year, um, bringing it in, in in Hawaii tomorrow by hanging out on the beach and maybe catching a little bit of a tan. I think I'm pretty white, so maybe uh, get a couple of rays. Going to get bronzed up, <laughs> yeah, huh? Yeah, for sure. Uh, are you going to jump off the cliff? I don't think I'm going to. I heard I heard some stories about people uh <laughs> You know, having some trouble there. So we'll see. I've jumped off some cliffs before, but uh, maybe I'll set this one out. I don't know. Sterling said he's going to surf. Would you do that? I'd try it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be very good at it. But, uh, you know, about as much as I've done on water is tubing. And I get a lot of I get a lot of flack from my guys. I'm like the worst swimmer on the team. We do some workouts in the pool. Um, come later this season, and I'm always in the back. Like, my one hand is swimming, and my other hand is grabbing on the side of the pool, pulling me along. So <laughs> Cheating. Uh, maybe I'll have a life jacket if I get in the water tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got anything else for me, man? No, I'm just going to enjoy my time in Hawaii. You too. You better. Yeah, oh, I'm going to. I already jumped yeah, off a couple yeah. cliffs and done some stupid nice. stuff. So Sounds good. Well, well, hey, mahalo for it. That's, that's, thank you. Mahalo? Mahalo. Okay. I told Agam the other day, he's like, I don't know what that means. Mahalo and aloha, right? Yeah, there you go. Got it. There you go. Good Those are your go. two things. I just gave you the language guide to Hawaii. <laughs> Congratulations on the title today. Mahalo.